ready for some seeds. Go, go, go! Whoa, unbelievable. It's coming down to this. Who's going to win? So how did we get here? I've been running around all week at RTX. I've got a ton of things that I'm doing from live shows to doing stand-up for the first time. And so my head is in a million different places. And then I walk over to the Omen booth where the semis are happening. So usually with a tournament, it'll go over the span of a week or so. But since we only had the weekend of RTX, the way we set the rule set for the community tournament was one map, first of five rounds, that's it. So you only had one opportunity to really, really bring it. And if you didn't, then you went home. All for a chance to play against Chima Hunter on center stage. Quarterfinals popped off. I hear rumblings that they're doing God's work over there on those PCs. I caught glimpses and every team I walked by was just so much better than us. I'm glad they picked tournament winners to play us because random people from the crowd would beat us in a game. I would look at their screens and go, I can't do that. Yeah! Is it really a competition? Do we, do we really have it in us to play against a team that has practiced and been practicing all week? We're gonna lose. Why do we rig it so we played against the winners, the best people at RTX? All right, after hours of hard work, the semifinals are comprised of two teams, the Renegades and Sorry of All. So I'm trying to take a closer look at both these teams. I see the Renegades. All right, watch that east side, boys. Watch that east side. I swap over to the other side. I'm taken back a bit. These guys are calm but that's not why. These boys and girls better not disappoint, I swear. Because I come to realize I know these people. Uh, so this is a little weird. I've trained this team. These are my twins. Gotta put right a here. So, so if these guys go to the finals against a Chima Hunter, then that means I'll be on stage against two teams that I trained. Remember to check your EMPs, Ellie. No point in holding on to them. I've brought them from Siege babies up to siege adults, and they know how to play because they watched me. We are a team of Fredo subs. We've got a couple people from the US, one from Australia, uh, and one from uh, England, actually. I've been playing siege with him for a bit over a year. He's basically the one who kind of showed us the ropes at siege, how to set up site, how to, like, what angles to hold. He's yelled at us a lot for doing dumb stuff, and now we finally learned how to play. So I want to win, and I'm going to try my best to win. I'm certainly not going to go soft on them. I hope we can make him proud. He's running the southwest corner of garage. And all of the Fredo fam proud. Got it. Good call out. Orange team ready! Blue team ready! Good luck, have fun! Here we go. Oh, my heart's racing already. All right, we got this. Man, was it tense. On one side, we have a team that seems like they've, you know, they've got experience, they've got it together. On the other side, you see another team, very aggressive, with a lot of feelings. I'll play dog. Oh, crap, I don't have Bandit on this profile. All right, pick me up, get pick me up, up, pick me up, up, get him up. But they know what they're doing, and you can tell this by the way they're calling things out. They're coming, they're coming B, definitely, or sorry, east side, east side. There he's right there. He's gonna rotate round. Nation's gone. Got him. Good first round. In my mind, I'm thinking the team that has a lot of aggression, they're gonna come out swinging. But if the opposing squad can hit them hard and put some distance between them round wise, the teams with emotions fall apart very easily. So this could go either way. In Armory, they're slipping right on you. You got me. Armory. The audience is eating it up. Everyone can feel the energy that's that's happening right now. But ultimately, Sorry of All starts to really run away with it. Oh! I just located. On your left? 
Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. And it's exactly what I thought. You know, Renegades, skilled, very emotional team though. I've trained Sorry Vol to take advantage of that. All right, okay. run okay. and push. And so they know a team that's emotional like that to push hard because they will fall apart. And that's exactly what they did. Today's the day. We're about to go up on center stage and play Siege in front of the audience against the top community team that played during RTX. And we're feeling it, man. The audience is just as ready as we are. Like, center stage has not been more packed. They know what's about to come. We know what we gotta give them. Oh boy, baby girl. Who's ready for some Siege? Are you guys ready to see Achievement Hunter play? Crowd's, crowd's excited. They want to see blood and they're going to see it. I'm feeling the energy. I look over, I see Michael with his double. He's got a screwdriver. That's a worrisome sign. What, am I going to lose sober? Jeremy's over there feeling as confident as ever. And if you've watched this whole series, you know that that's a good sign. I don't know if they're expecting to go, wow. I can't believe the improvement Achievement Hunter has made. They know what they signed up for. No, no one's gonna show up and think Achievement Hunter is gonna knock it out of the park. So everybody gets settled in. Uh, Achievement Hunter to my right, the community team, Sorry Vault to my left. Everyone was decked out in Omen and Nvidia gear that was up to par for competitive standards. There weren't 60 hurt monitors, there were 144. They had the latest and greatest graphics card. So hardware wise, they were set. They were going to be able to push themselves to their limits without having anything hold them back. All right, so we're going to be kicking this off in just a second. We're going to be doing a custom match in Siege. We're going to be doing three maps, best of three, and there is pick and bans. So it's going to be a lot of good sweaty Siege content. I'm going to let you guys in on a little inside knowledge. Um, for a while, you know I've been training these fine gentlemen. And I just came to realize very, very not too long ago that these fine community members representing you guys are people that I play with on Twitch very often. He's double dipping. I awkwardly enough trained both these teams. So no matter who wins, I lose. So it's like both of his Padawans have come together in this final glorious match. One has done a lot more practicing and playing with each other. The other, is Achievement Hunter. Oh boy. You know you need, you know your roles. I don't know shit, dude. That was weeks ago. We trained a whole five hours for this. That was a different me. That was like a thousand years ago. The whole time during this whole show when he says, I wish, this I, wish I had more time to train you guys. I wish I had more time. These are the guys that he's had all the time in the world to train. He's been playing with them for months or years. Gee, how are we gonna do? Hopefully we get some rounds. Hopefully we win some, some maybe like a round or two. I don't know, like, just a little bit of progress. It's all I'm asking for. You guys ready to get going? So the way that the Center Stage games were set were best of three. Whoever would win two maps would win the whole thing. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Trevor, you want to get up there and... Guys, armor's yeah, down. Well, open that wall up. My job's done. I'm going up for the hatches. Guys, I don't... You know what? I'm not even going to secure the site because that's going to throw them for a loop. Can you open the wall up? All right, second half. Uh, uh, yeah, I can yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I could. I think they're, uh, all right. I don't know that I can, room or, I don't here's know if I can compensate here. Yeah, bunk upstairs. If they're used to playing with Alfredo, they usually play in like four by three, 240p. They're so. in four by three. Yeah. They came in and immediately switched. Are you yeah. serious? Yes. yes. How is that allowed? That's bullshit. Bozzy's in the basement. What a turd. He's still there. All right. Okay, we need we need a game plan. The die. That's hey. not it. What That's not hell? it. That That's wasn't it. the game yeah. plan. Kill my Mac, kill so my immediately Mac. out of the gate, one thing I'm noticing is that it's harder to hear each other. So callouts immediately go out the window. Trevor, they're coming. What do, what do I That's do? That's not bro? dead. Callouts. Trevor, they're coming. Turn it up. I'm gonna sleep for callouts. Guys, stop shooting things. My callouts are. They're coming. They're everywhere. Okay. They're in the walls. I'm desperately looking for callouts and trying to play and like trying to hold our own against this amazing team. Ah! Okay. Come on! I looked away for one second. We immediately get in our heads. We immediately start getting down on ourselves and it's a very slippery slope. I can just leave. Down the hole. Oh, there was one, Ryan. Down the hole. Ah! 
Oh, that DPI is not great. Kill that man! Not gonna! Let's be alive! Let's get one! Oh. No! I don't feel so It was good. that close. I almost that had that close. It was that close to us winning against one man. I should have saw this coming. Like, you know, the boys, they reverted back to doing what they do best, which was being entertainers. All right, they're gonna come fast. Yeah, I just no, they're that. not. They're not gonna come fast. So the minute the game started, they were in full on Achievement Hunter entertainer mode, not Achievement Hunter competitive mode. Jeff, be careful, Jeff, be up. careful. You know I, I am. I love you, man. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead, dead too. Oh, what are we gonna do then? Here's our only strategy, just abandon everything he taught us because he taught them better. Yep. Right. Don't just do, do whatever we want. Michael? Yep. But there's no I'm We doing... already kind of have, to be honest. Yo, nah, I'm, dude. Not if I guy. see somebody, yeah. I'm throwing an e EMP yeah. right at him. So everything that I taught them just kind of like went to the wayside. I'm dead. I didn't see it. They're in your room, Jeff. Uh, I'm also dead. Yeah. So what I'm understanding is Alfredo just like half-ass trained us, but tried with them. Yeah. I'm going to blame him. Game one was a massacre. <laughs> what? God. Stop. Leave me alone! We got the ace! Please. They knew every call out, every angle, every counter to everything that we had. No, oh, what's behind happening? you! They're Come all on. behind what's you! Happening? Come on! It's a team of little Alfredo! Any sense? The crowd is huge. They're ready to see us. The champions of Siege fall. We're gonna fall. They're gonna. The crowd gets very thin very quickly. Like, they are just, they're leaving to go home. We've ruined the whole weekend. <laughs> All right, Trevor, 1v3, you got it. Trevor, you're the best of us, Trevor. Hey, never mind. Hey, I got a bullet We completed out. the match. That's one. As a bonus, we got 250 points. Don't give me that luck, Michael. I was gonna say, just <laughs> they're smiling. I see it. You feel good about this? A little bit, yeah. Warden in there, sick. we're fucked. All of you, yeah. sick. You I had the boat. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll see you in chat Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so they trounced us in game one, which is fair. Game two comes around, and this is just where they sprinkle that salt. You know, they salt bay our wounds. Oh! oh! Pistols, well, though. I feel like they're only using pistols. There it is. They break out pistols only. They wipe the floor with us. They Jesus. They pull out a chonka. They're gonna meme on us. Oh, they're playing as Tachanka. <laughs> Just taking us out with things that were typically, if you see it in a ranked match, it means that that team really isn't trying that hard because those are tactics or operators that are not really top tier or have very useful abilities. It's rough when you play a team that's better than you and they know they're like, they're so much better than you that they like, they meme out on you. It's that much worse when it's on a stage and there's a couple of thousand people watching. It's not good, it's not good. Don't clap. One oh, don't round, you lie to one, us, round, Alfredo. round, one, round. Don't one, you lie round, to us, one, Alfredo. Round, Brian, bring one, the goddamn round. bomb in here so we can get the pity round. Get this farce over with. Yeah. Ryan, Trevor, it's Trevor, never a good time. I told the guys, take that. Even if they're memeing and, and they're, they're messing around with you, Take those rounds from them, punish them for it when you can. Uh, you know, that's the best you can do in that situation. Then we got to the point where I was like, you know what, let's just, let's full, you know, dive into this. And so I called a knife round. You guys wanna do a knife fight? Knife what? Fight? Would you guys wanna see a knife fight? Yeah, we agreed to do knives because let's give the audience something to watch besides this just ruthless slaughter. Here we go. Bring knives it only. Knives only. Bring it to our turn. And then we all agreed on our side, let's cheat and shoot them. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> Jeff fired, missed, and was then stabbed. I got knives. button. Oh, uh, Jeremy, go. Jeremy, go. Oh, damn. I was shot. Right. I was shot. Right. What? And then they still won. They kind of saw that coming, uh, and they killed us all. And the memes just didn't stop. They were oh, flopping around, sometimes standing there in the hallway, letting one of us get a kill. Oh. It was humiliating. I, I understand that they're doing anything that they can to make it entertaining for them, but it's 
It's just degrading. Here's the thing. We win this game. We've only got like 14 minutes left. They're gonna have. They're gonna have to clean us up. It's a. It's an excellent point. And for the people that weren't in the audience, oh, it looks God. like we Wait competed. Don't jump. don't jump in the air. Alfredo jumped in the air. We already knew it was over. So I mean, we took the second game, but no one watching you at home, us on stage, no one thought that we really won. I mean, we lost every round. One last <laughs> map. One last round. Guys, we've lulled them into a <laughs> false sense of security. This is where we take it. Don't like Mira. Please, for the love of God, ban Mira. They had five votes. Come okay, on. I'm just checking. I'm trying to throw them off, okay? You don't okay. need... Hey, don't look at my screen. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't throw me off. I don't off. trust you anymore, Alfredo. So it comes down to the third and final map. We decided to play it out just for fun. And it was, of course, going exactly the way you thought it would go. Okay. Why would you do I this? It. I knew that would happen. Why would you do this to us? Oh, good try. They gave us every advantage, all right? We're talking these Omen monitors, all this stuff. We're talking these NVIDIA graphics cards that are showing everything the fastest time that we can see it. We're getting more frames than we've ever gotten, and it still doesn't make us different people. We're still Achievement Hunter. We still see a person and freak out and shoot the ceiling. That's what we do. Just end it. Just Guys, if you ahead. could just run outside. Shut the fuck up. I'm not in our head. They're like a thousand <laughs> times better. <laughs> They're better than anyone we played the whole goddamn series. You saw what we ranked. They're better than you, Alfredo. There's uh, five of them. I don't know about that one. Dude, you're getting old. You got carpal tunnels. <laughs> Stop, I, I heard that. There's something I've learned about Alfredo. If you question his skills enough, he can't help but play. So all we did was poke and poke and poke. They're not, I don't see anybody wearing fucking braces over there. Oh don't make me pull these hands out of retirement, Mike. <laughs> I made a slight joke to uh, Michael like, hey, you know, if I could get in there, I would. And obviously, Michael took the bait. I'm stepping in. And I put him on the spot. We were like, let's see the coach. The crowd went absolutely nuts. They knew that daddy was home, ready to play. Alfredo, Hulk Hogan, rips off his shirt, his coach vest. He sits down, he throws Michael to the wolves. It's time for him to play. All right, so Michael's gonna try this round. Oh, fuck. All right, focus. All right, come on, Michael. I'm your host, Alfredo. I think he just was tired of seeing us in pain. I think he thought maybe I can make a difference here. I hope you don't mind that we didn't reinforce it. The wall, the wall Nothing is reinforced. I'm playing like I've playing literally as never played before. We're feeling a little bit better, right? He's gonna try to carry us through against this other team. Now we're cheating, technically, but a win's a win. Jeremy, talk to you, where they at? Uh, that was an open Nothing. office. Look at this thing. Okay, oh. remember, he's hit. He's hit. He shot Ow, on the butt. Ryan bit me. Three health. Little, There's a man. He let him live. Ryan, Ryan bit me. I did. <laughs> Little open office still. Wow, Fredo, uh, I could have done that. He starts getting stomped. Fredo, what's going on? Is it your settings? Can't be your settings. Oh, he's already adjusting <laughs> settings, everyone. <laughs> he's adjusting <laughs> settings. I gotta, I gotta he's do not what I gotta fucking do. Round. Alfredo has decided 14 rounds in to try and salvage this video. Right, he's taking his that. watch off. The biggest thing and one of the hardest things that a lot of people won't know about when it comes to playing an Atlanta event is making sure that your settings are your settings. And I could not get my settings like dialed in. Circle in the mouse, he's getting the feel. So low. Okay. He does not have his wrist brace on, so he has he's at a disadvantage. I think ultimately what it is is that, you know, the other team is just better. There's there's five Alfredos over there, and there's half an Alfredo over on our side now, you know, the settings. These are the people who have been watching me play Siege for thousands of hours, you know, taking notes, trying to figure out all the little details that I know to implement into their gameplay. Hell, I've even played ranked with a handful of these guys numerous times, more times than I can count on these hands. They kicked the crap out of him, and I got to sit in the front row and, and watch. That was kind of fun. He couldn't touch them. The students had surpassed the teacher in that case. Not in our case, he would still wipe the floor with us, but that's not what we're talking about right now. At the end of the day though, when it comes down to it, it's about the team and whether or not they could overcome the difficulties 
that any game brings to them. And it was noticeable that Sarival really gelled. They were a team, they were a unit. They learned as a squad in a unit, and that's why they won. Ultimately, what we learned in this match is it's not the coach that matters. Clearly, both teams were coached by Alfredo. It's the time spent in the game. The hard work and the sweat are what are gonna really pay out in the end. And the other team had more of it than we did. It was really awesome of NVIDIA and Omen to help facilitate this and set it up. We kind of exist in, a, in an echo chamber with the audience where they constantly tell us that we suck at video games. And we absorb that uh, with good nature because we know we do suck. But on the inside, we're like, yeah, it'd be a little different if you were on the other side of this. And uh, turns out it's not. No, we, we do suck as bad as they say. We are losers. We all know we're losers. But we're bronze losers. And that's better than we were. All said and done, I feel like the biggest thing is we, we got confident in this game. We feel like we definitely improved. We could win some casual. We can go in and have a lot more fun. But we, uh, we also know that uh, we just need more time. Yeah, it was a fun experience. I think we could definitely do this again. Um, maybe not something as labor intensive as Siege. It's very unforgiving if you don't live and breathe it. So it's been a long road to get here, longer than any of you guys will ever realize, not only for myself, but for them. They really push the limits of who they are, not as entertainers, but as competitive gamers. And I'm proud of them for that. They've grown and there's so much more potential there. I'm glad to finally wrap things up, but I'm also excited to see where things go from here. Anything else you wanna add? Yo, Alfredo, you suck.